Hello Net Warriors, another day and uh, today we are going to talk about simple classification of carbohydrates, right? Very important macromolecule and we'll see simple classification of carbohydrates. So we'll divide them into four different parts here. So start with uh, this idea, we'll start with monosaccharides, then there is disaccharide and in this side we'll have oligosaccharide and but we have polysaccharides. So these are the four different types of carbohydrates that are available. So in monosaccharide, what is the function? Serve as the basic building blocks of carbohydrates, which is present uh, very, uh, I mean, abundantly all uh, throughout the cell and provides quick energy to our body. For example, if we check glucose, fructose, galactose, which is readily available and our body is always ready to utilize them because they are easily metabolizable. Okay. Next is disaccharide provide a source of energy and contribute to the taste of certain foods okay uh, that is an aesthetic pleasure that we can go like sucrose which is the combination of glucose and fructose we use sucrose as a common sugar lactose which is present in the milk has glucose and galactose in it maltose on the other hand has glucose and glucose added together so these are the uh, disaccharide types now we'll see the polysaccharide the polysaccharide function serves as storage form of energy or any uh, provides structural support. There are plenty of polysaccharides which provide structural support and there are uh, polysaccharides which are acting as a storage. For example, glycogen is a polysaccharide uh, that can act as a energy source, okay, storage form of the energy in our body, okay. Next what is the example, starch again. Uh, storage of energy form that is found in plant, glycogen storage of energy form that is found in animal, cellulose is an example that provides structural support, mechanical support which is found in plant cell walls. Oligosaccharides act as prebiotics supporting the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. So that's why oligosaccharides are very important where microorganisms rely on oligosaccharides for their growth and utilization and growth. Uh, examples, raffinose, stachyose are examples of oligosaccharides, okay. Not many of you may know this part, although you may know monosaccharide, disaccharide and polysaccharide. But you also need to know about the oligosaccharide, example raffinose and stachyose which are readily available in our gut, utilized by our gut, gut microflora and they flourish which helps to protect our gut health. So that concludes our understanding of simple classification of carbohydrates. Now we need to dig deeper into the types of bonds that are present in disaccharides, type of bonds that are found in polysaccharides and everything in the letter mind maps. So watch this whole series of mind map and it's our journey of 365 days. One mind map every single day for a year and I bet you that you're going to come up as a better source of knowledge for the field of biological sciences after this one year of study. So Continue with this series because it's going to provide you benefit for CSR Net, Get LS, Get Biotechnology, ICMR, JRF, uh, the Q8 PG, uh, BHU JNU examination and all the other institutional PhD entrance examination as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. All the very best for future career.